All right, guys, Guinness Pinter here. How's it going? Hope you guys are well. Welcome to this Guinness review. So we're finally here at Temple Bar. So we're going to be going in, reviewing the Guinness and giving my initial thoughts on the pint. It's going to be really cool. Uh, I've managed to get somebody who's going to be giving me a bit of history on the bar, what makes it unique and how well Guinness sells and stuff. So we were actually, we actually are going to be able to get a bit of information about this bar as well. So it's going to be awesome. So yeah, my first Dublin Guinness review, here we go, Temple Bar. So let's go in and get the pint. Alright guys, so we've just poured our pint, so here we go, here is the pint, so there we go. So straight off, uh, head could be a little bit bigger, but that's because I poured it, so I'm just, that's my, that's my bad. But anyway, yes, but there we go, um, had to take a wee bit of cream off just because uh, after it poured, it started pouring down the side. I was like, oh god, but we got it all cleaned up and here we are, so yeah. Alright, so here we go, Temple Bar, Dublin. Guinness review, here we go. Slauncher. Mmm. Alright, very nice. My god, look at that stick already. That stick is incredible already. Wow. Alright, but there we go. So, yeah. So first impressions, it's nice and cold. Um, so I like McGuinness, nice and cold. That's how I, that's how I like it. So uh, top notch for that. Um, it's um, not as creamy as what some of the pints I've had. Uh, so yeah, it could be a bit creamier, but you know what? It's it's still a decent pint. Uh, it's I mean it is, it's a nice tasty pint. I'm not gonna lie. But yeah, there we go. Um, no, it is very pricey in here, that's all I'm going to say. Um, but apart from the price, you know what, it's a decent point. Like, I'm not blown away by it, but you know what, if you're coming, it's it's a good enough point if you're coming in to have maybe one or two to come in here just to try this place out. And yeah, because it's, it's, it's a, it's a well-known bar, you know, and yeah, but there we go. So yeah, it's not the, no, in my opinion, it's not the best pint I've had in Dublin. I've had multiple pints that have been a lot better, but I do love this place, you know, man. It's very authentic. We've got Christmas stuff up already, I know. I mean, we're literally a week before up for Halloween, and Tell the Bar, I've already got their all the Christmas stuff up, and it's just, yeah, it's so cool. All, all Christmas vibes come on straight away. But there we go. Um, if I had to rate that Guinness, uh, I'm trying to think. It's a nice pint, not as creamy though. Um, temperature is sort of spot on, so yeah, I'm not really complaining about that. Uh, there's a slight bitterness to it, just, just a tiny bit bitterness to it, but apart from that though, it's it's a decent pint. But there we go. Uh, if, I was, if I was to score this Guinness, Temple Bar Dublin, uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna go 7.8 for, for just for this one. So yeah, 7.8. That's what I'm going for this one. So yeah, it's it's not a bad pint. You know, it's it's a very nice pint. 
Well, there we go. So that's our review for Temple Bar. Uh, so we're going to be speaking to Kai Gold Dara. Um, not Dara as in Guinness Guru. I know. I wish that was true. But yeah. So we're going to be speaking to a guy called Dara. He's He's, he's one of the bartenders here and he sort of knows about this place a lot more and stuff so I've been recommended to go up and speak to him um, to learn a bit of history about, about this place and a lot more so yeah Alright so I'm here with Dara, Dara nice to meet you So I'm Scotty So I just want to know, can you give us a wee bit, a wee bit of history about Tampa Bar and what makes it so unique? Yeah so the pub uh, it originally came into um, came into being in kind of the 1840s mm -hmm. And it's been called, it's, it was, it's had a lot of different names over the years, but it was renamed to the Temple Bar Pub in 1992-93 when the Cleary family took over it. So uh, they renamed it to Temple Bar and that kind of came at a time when Ireland was beginning to experience its own kind of boom and just yeah. in general the economy took off really into the early 90s, early 90s. And uh, yeah, so, so we got a massive growth in, in the Temple Bar area as a big pub area and a big tourist attraction really. And with the name of the pub being the Temple Bar Pub, that brings in a lot of tourists and uh -huh. has done for the last 20 or 30 years. Yeah, so I'm assuming every day it's always packed in here? Yeah, you, it, it, it is and it's much it's usually much busier than any other pub at uh, uh, at this time of day, particularly during the afternoon and yeah. the mornings. But uh, uh, we've got the staff to deal with it, so you know, you're, you're never too stressed. Yeah. And what time are you open from? Open from 10am uh, every day. Yeah. What time during the day would be the, the absolute busiest? Uh, usually, it's, it depends on the day, but usually between 7pm till about 10, half 10 at 10. night. Uh, before and after that, it's usually a little bit quieter, but that's yeah. when, you know, that's our, those are our busiest hours, I would have said. Yeah. Because I've come in here in the afternoon, some in the afternoon sometimes, and um, I've come in. And it's been absolutely yeah. jam packed as well. It's just yeah, it's been crazy. But the yeah, atmosphere, yeah. the atmosphere is, is really good in here. I love, absolutely love it. I mean, of course, it depends. Like you know, if we have big matches on, big football matches, rugby oh, matches, yeah. loud crowds in for that. We had lots of French fans over earlier this uh, uh, earlier yeah. this year for the rugby. We created a massive atmosphere for that. It was really exciting. But uh, yeah, very 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 busy at that time. Yeah. And of course, St Patrick's Week, which is always the big. Well, I'm assuming St Patrick's would be absolutely busy as well. Yeah. Oh, mad, absolutely mad, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, uh, on the topic of Guinness, how well does Guinness sell in here? Mad. It's, the, it's by far and away our biggest selling product. As you'd expect, all the, because this is obviously the big tourist area, and all the tourists coming over here, the first thing they want is their pint of Guinness. And usually they come off the they come through come off their plane, get a bus into town, say where will we go to? We'll go to Temple Bar, have our pint of Guinness, you know, and whatever. And some and because their music is so good, some of they'll, they'll stay for like three or four. Uh -huh. And uh, yeah, the the Guinness, you know, and like people drink lots of different stuff in here. But like I said, by far and away, Guinness is the biggest seller. And uh, you know, St Patrick's Week. It's just, it's absolutely crazy. You should see the keg yeah. it's mad. Oh yeah, because I was down here on St. Patrick's Day this year yeah. as well. Was, couldn't get moving, absolutely jam-packed. Absolutely, and same for the streets as well. It's just yeah. absolutely wall-to-wall. -wall oh yeah, people. I mean, it's, it's a national holiday, so it is, you're, it is expected to be absolutely packed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, Doris, th 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 thank you very much. No worries. Thank, thank you. you. All right, guys, but there we go. That is our review in the Temple Bar. What an absolute place. It's so good to find out a bit of history of, of this bar and how well Guinness sells and stuff. Fortunately, because of the type of bar it is, that's all I was able to do. I can't, um, I'm not really allowed to go behind the bar to get more stuff, like find out how glass are clean and stuff. But at least we got the review of the Guinness and my initial thoughts and history of the bar and how well Guinness sells and stuff. So yeah, it's been absolutely great. But there we go. But there we go, that's our pint finished. But there we go, that was a decent pint. Um, so I told Dara there my score was 7.8 and he says, oh yeah, that's a really good score. Appreciate that, it's me, yes, no problem. So there we go, 7.8. But yeah, there we go, guys. But that's our review here in Temple Bar tonight, guys, for watching. And we will see you guys very soon for another Guinness review. All right, guys, so Guinness Pint there, signing out.